Hi dreamers, today I'm gonna decorate in my very first planner. I'm gonna tell you all about why I picked it and show you my very first sticker pack. Stick around. <laughs> Today I'm going to be planning in my big happy planner and this is an hourly happy planner. This is the very first planner I got that's made by the happy planner and I got it because one I really like hourly planners but also I tend to write a lot. I write kind of big so I need a bigger space to write in. So that's one of the reasons I decided to get a big happy planner. This was the very first one I got. I love the cover too. It was one of my favorite covers. This week I'm going to be decorating for the month of May. First week of May. And Sunday is Mother's Day. Books I'm going to be using today are the Happy Illustrations, the Happy Memory Keeping, and Happy Year. Since it's May, I wanted to really do some like a floral type spread since I thought this is perfect time of year for that. That's going to be kind of the theme I'm going for here. So this was my very first uh, Happy Planner I got. The very first sticker book I ever got was the Productivity sticker book. So this is the very first sticker book that I got, Productivity. And I have since cut up all these um, sticker sheets and put them into a different storage thing so that they're no longer in here. But when I very first um, learned about Happy Planner, and if you haven't seen the video, I'll leave a link where you can check that out. I didn't really quite know about the decorative planning because I just, you know, I just learned about Happy Planner in Michael's. So decorative planning really wasn't anything I had exposed to yet or had known about. It was just a whole foreign world to me at that point. So anyways, I got a productivity because I was very much more functional at that point. And after that, I ended up, you know, going to get more and more different planners, different books, and of course went down that whole rabbit hole. So, and now I am here today with, I don't know, maybe 13 plus planners. It's cute. It's so cute. Oh gosh, I don't even know how many sticker books, like maybe 50 sticker books. So, let's see here if I have anything. I think I'm gonna put this in here for Mother's Day. So, anyways, now this planner I use as a catch all. So, in this planner, I track you know, my doctor's appointments, you know, any sort of appointments that I have to go to. I track birthdays, anniversaries, um, special like events or gatherings, which not a whole lot of that is happening right now, but I have since got so many other planners that I have a lot of planners that are use for specific purposes. So now the, my hourly planner I have tend to use more for it's kind of time blocking. I do a little bit more time blocking in it. You know I'll, I do use it for my 
household chores, phone calls I need to make, things I need to buy, say for my planner Instagram. I have um, its own planner where I write in all my plans of what I want to do with that in there. So, let's see, I feel like this needs some. A lot of times uh, I will write in this planner something, say like, um, work on stocks and then I'll go to my stock planner and write in there some more detailed plans. So anyways, um, it's really has kind of worked out. I, I don't really care to Franken plan or combine them because I just <laughs> like all of the different covers and planners so much that I like to see them all. So I'm not a big fan of, you know, combining them all into under one cover. I keep all my planners separated and that's just how it has worked best for me. Of course everybody's different and has to plan, you know, however works best for them and their planning style. I think I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna put some washi tape low here. some washi tape to this and what color should I use? Um, I think I'm going to use this pink. This thin pink. Ooh, this one's pretty too. It's got the pinks and the blues. Hmm. Maybe I might do both. Okay. So I'm going to add a strip of washi here. So what was your first happy planner? What size did you get? Um, what style, what format did you get? And is that one that you've stuck with or have you since decided that that didn't work and you liked a different format or size better? I've tried all the different sizes and formats, um, except for the, well, the micro mini notes. I never got that. Of course, that's just notes, I think. But the smallest planner I have is this one. But I do have the classic and the big, and I have all sorts of different formats. I really wanted to try them all out and kind of see which ones work the best for me or, and I have since changed the purpose. You know, when I first bought them, I thought, oh, I'll use it for this. And then I ended up deciding to do something different. So This one kind of has remained steady. I've bought this one for the intentions, really it to be my only planner. So it was gonna be my catch-all and 
it still has. I just have added so many other planners that I have changed the, I've got more detailed with those now, so. Some washi up here to the top. So let me know down in the comment section below what your first plan, Happy Planner was and what format, size, and if you're still using it. So I think I want to add um, Happy Mother, there we go, Mother's Day in here. Now, I'm finding what has work, been working best for me is doing some just basic decorations to begin with the week and then as I plan and get through the week I'll put stickers in to sort of fill in, you know, if, um, one night I have tacos I might put a little taco sticker in but I might not know that at the beginning of the week so I just kind of start out with some basic decorations and then I'll add to it and fill everything in as I go through the week. So if you want to see an after the pen, uh, check my Instagram. A lot of times I'll post a picture there. So let me see if there's anything else. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Maybe we can add some of these. Whoa. Hope everybody is going to be able to have a good Mother's Day despite many people being sheltered in place around the world, but hopefully we keep our moms safe. Since that square is missing, I'm just going to place a sticker over it. And those will be some things I want to get done this week. I don't believe I have any birthdays or special dates other than Mother's Day this week to remember. good for this week, Mother's Day week. I hope everybody has a great Mother's Day. And okay. hope everybody stays safe. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care.